What is going on, fellow Clash fans? Thank you so much for spending, nay, investing a few minutes of your time with me today. Yes, we are going to watch some beginner strategy. This is Gala Wife. Yes, this is my wife playing Clash Royale. Now, you can oftentimes catch my family members on a live stream on Camcord. It's a free app for both Android and iOS. Click the download link in the description. You can check me out and talk to me directly and maybe talk to my mom, talk to my wife, talk to my kids. You never know who is going to be on a live stream. But yes, this is the Gala Wife's account and her name is Sup Urkel. Now, she decided this was a funny joke because, well, I can often be seen wearing my Supercell sweatshirt that does kind of look like Sup Urkel. I actually have had people yell at me, Sup Urkel, from a distance, usually homeless people, but nonetheless, people yell at me for some reason, Sup Urkel. So that is her name in Clash Royale, and as you can see, she's level two and, well, you know, it's beginner, again. So this is somebody who really has never played games. She's never really been much of a game player, especially not this type of game. She plays Candy Crush. She plays Solitaire, uh, but it's almost unheard of for her to play a game of this genre. So when she picked this up and started having fun, I was actually really surprised. And then she kind of gets some of the deployments right. The giant on the tower, the skeleton army in behind is going to help take out the troops on the giant and finish off the tower and my wife goes up one crown to nothing and uh, she is amazed the opponent is amazed uh, but then again she's been playing this game for probably about 20 minutes at this point but she's having a good time and she along with the gala mom account yes my mom's account will never be using gems so I might hop on this one eventually just to see if we can't see how fast it can progress without gems. Now, for those of you who follow me on Camcord who have heard about my mom playing Clash Royale, she's an absolute maniac. She is the leader of FA Zirconia. I made that clan as a kind of for noobs. Little did I know that my mom would end up as of this point right now with over 1,000 wins. Yes, she has over 1,000 wins. She has more wins than Galadon and Trainer Galadon do combined. So she is having a lot of fun playing the game, and again, she has never used a single gem and still amassed over a thousand wins. So we will be checking in with her from time to time, see her progress in the game, and see how fast, how far you can progress without any gems. But in the meantime, my wife has gone ahead two crowns to zero. Again, a lot of times, of course, at level two, against brand new players, you are going to make mistakes and the other player is going to make mistakes as well. And that's what we have seen here. Some deployment that maybe wasn't ideal. The fundamentals of this game apply from any other game where you're familiar with tanks, with DPS. Now my wife wasn't at all. So the fact that she knew to kind of like put the goblins behind the giants, that was pretty cool to watch. But then again, it's kind of trial and error for her at this point. And here, definitely not a lot of error as she comes out on top two crowns to zero. All right, so here is the Gala Wife account on her way to try to become a legend. Okay, maybe not, but I was gonna let you guys know that is the name of this song. It is also from Instrumental Core. It's called Become a Legend for those of you who are asking. All right, so let's move on and let's watch this attack a little more closely. She's facing a witch, which is a very dangerous unit, but check it out. A Valkyrie followed by a Musketeer on the right-hand side. And that Valkyrie is actually a relatively tanky unit. The Valkyrie in on the tower and the Musketeer is going to shoot that tower down before anybody can stop her. On the left-hand side, she dropped a Skeleton Army to counter the push from her opponent. And it's working out really well, although the Witch is still on the move. Fireball again, maybe not always the best choice against higher DPS units unless you can actually take a tower down. The Witch, though, is going to live a little bit longer and almost get Sup Urkel or Gala Wife's left tower down. The arrows, no, not ideal either. It is important to know exactly how many hit points of damage those spells will do for you, your arrows, your fireballs, and we've talked about that in previous episodes, and that, again, maybe not ideal. Dropping a fireball on a giant, it seems like it would be effective, but definitely not. So the giant does get her left tower down. She's got a Valkyrie, and now Spear Goblins to try to counter the Witch, but check it out, the Witch just annihilates those Spear Goblins very quickly. Finally, the Giant goes down to the tower defense, and the Valkyrie does take down the Witch. Now you've got more, another Skeleton Army going down. That's gonna make quick work of the night, and she's got units on the move. A Fireball only takes out about half of the Skeleton Army. Again, Arrow's much more effective for dealing with an entire army of Skeletons. 
but here comes another giant and another mistake arrows on the king's tower again important to know what does and does not work in certain situations but again she's got the giant tanking for the archers and that is absolutely ideal as you can see the bomber all of the towers firing on the giant those archers with impunity just take down that other tower and put sup urkel up two crowns to one and now she's again on the push all of those units have managed to finish off all of the defensive units and a giant drops back there there goes a fireball on the king's tower another noob move but that's okay she's obviously doing well and there's a fireball in answer so again level two players you are going to see these mistakes early and obviously if you watch and you see the amount of damage that these things are doing over time you will realize that maybe it's best to save those fireballs no i said save those fireballs for tightly grouped low hit point units, archers, skeletons, goblins, and minions, that sort of thing. But in any case, time is about to run out, and Sup Urkel, yes, aka Gallowife, is in the lead. She is not going to lose that King's Tower, even with another barrage of arrows, and that is it. They exchange fireballs at the end, but she comes out on top once again. Two crowns to one, Gallowife, Sup Urkel, on a winning streak. So I have to admit, when I first played this game back at Supercell's headquarters, I thought, you know what, this is going to appeal to more of the hardcore gamer. But now that my mom and my wife are enjoying playing it, I have to rethink this, and who knows how far this game could go. And before I forget, here it is, the face reveal of Gallowife. This was from a recent holiday vacation in Europe. She is fantastic, amazing, supportive, beautiful, intelligent, and the love of my life. But you know who else I love? Every single one of you guys, thank you so much for your support, and I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Sally Dolan, you know I give your life a good thrashing. What? In the Peter, I in swear the to God.